Arsenal failed to follow the law, which Mikel Arteta described as Anfield's jungle, as his team handed over key control in the Premier League title race in an exciting draw at Liverpool. Among the Gunners bosses' attempts acclimate his players Anfield's hostile environment was train his players the Liverpool anthem You'll Never Walk Alone as a backing piece last season's practice sessions. Everything went awry when Arteta got involved in a touchline argument with counter number Jurgen Klopp as the scoreline was goalless, Liverpool and Anfield burst into fury and Arsenal collapsed in a 4-0 loss. So, rules were clear when they arrived at Anfield hoping to restore an 8-point lead at the top of table. Don't piss Liverpool off. Don't piss Anfield off. As the halftime approached, everything was sweet and calm for Arteta's side as they took a 2-0 lead with goals from Gabriel Martinelli and Gabriel Jesus, a fair reflection of the outstanding show so far. Liverpool were crushed and only sound at Anfield was the disappointment from cheery Arsenal fans and cop. And then Granit Jucker foolishly forgot all the lessons, getting involved with Trent Alexander-Arnold at a completely unnecessary flashpoint, infuriating Liverpool's players, and just as importantly Anfield, because the stadium is suddenly a crazy bear. It has turned into a pit, and this crowd is being fed. Do not put the bear in the bear pit. Except that Jucker did it with inevitable consequences. Mohamed Salah's goal three minutes before halftime created a siege in the second half, and what looked like three points for Arsenal turned one after Roberto Firmino's late equaliser, and could easily have been zero after a crazy final. After Rob Holding's foul against Diogo Hotter, Salah found the goal with a penalty for the second time in a row and missed his chance to equalise. Needing to show the determination, they have shown so often this season to withstand the pressure, as their volume levels rise, Arsenal suddenly took it. Keeping his team on par with save from Darwin Nunez on the final kick, visitors goalkeeper Aaron Ramsdale was a heroic figure in the closing moments, as he made spectacular fingertip save from Salah, and then miraculously blocked Abrahama Konate's collective effort. Almost from the goal line in the final seconds. Salah missed even a big chance in the distance as Liverpool pushed for victory. It ended 2-2 and now the Manchester City title is in their own hands, with a game in hand and a home match against them, he is six points behind the leaders. Arsenal have endured such relentless misery in recent years at Liverpool, which they haven't won since 2012 that they may have conceded a point before kickoff, despite their outstanding form, but there was pain on the faces as Firmino ascended home. So was that one point gained or two points lost? The answer may only come at the end of the season, but it has been a level of frustration for Arsenal to be 2-0 ahead and have full command finish with just one point. And there is no doubt that Jucker's intervention changed the atmosphere and caused the away team to completely lose their discipline for a few critical minutes at halftime. If they had entered with full advantage rather than a reduced advantage, things could have been very different. If Liverpool needed more shots, it came from the most unlikely source, as assistant referee Constantine Hatsidakis elbowed Liverpool defender Andrew Robertson, and the teams went at half-time. This was a notable event, and is under the scrutiny of the professional gaming match officials board. Once the dust of this eventful match settled, there was still so much to admire about Arsenal's performance, who had swept around Anfield as smooth as silk for the first 40 minutes, that previous nightmares apparently been erased from memory here. While Martinelli completely captured Alexander-Arnold's defensive weaknesses, Virgil van Dijk again did not seem like an overbearing defender with pomp and control over the attackers. That said, there's no doubt that this allowed Arsenal a great win psychologically to get away from them, it was their great first-half advantage, as Arteta poked defender Jakub Kiwia into this Anfield greenhouse, in place of late captain Martin Odegaard raised a few eyebrows. Lifted Arteta's team shown the ability resilience this season to bounce back from any perceived setback, character, and stamina many have doubted in the past, ultimately this was a match they could lose, which would be devastating blow.
Ramsdale was admired by Arsenal fans, who were relieved to survive the final whistle by one point. The Gunners still have that game at Manchester City, and a test trip to Newcastle United, and should hope they don't mind the way squander such a position of authority at Anfield now.